Hey guys, this is Justin with Dynasty Preppers, and today we're going to take a look at the 180 stove and ash pan, and this is the stove that we carry in all of our bug out bags, and uh, we really love this stove. Uh, so the one we're looking at has been uh, used a few times, but we're going to go ahead and, and bust it out again and uh, get a little fire going. to have Aubrey put this together, which is our oldest daughter, to demonstrate how easy this is to put together. So the 180 stove is very, very sturdy and uh, holds a full pot on it if you wanted to do so. Uh, right now we'll probably put a uh, kettle on it so we can boil some water. Um, and the ash pan comes separate. Uh, but it is good. It does help keep the stove from melting. It melts evenly into the snow if you do put it out, actually use it on snow. Um, so we do like it for that. And then it's very easy cleanup to get rid of all the ashes and everything. So, all right, and there's your stove all put together. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and start a fire really quick with some sticks and stuff here on the. So we'll move this. The other way, the other reason I like the ash pan is it's really easy to get started and set the stove on top of it. Right now I'm just going to use the cotton ball method to get this started with our fire steel. And then we can just go ahead and, and use our twigs here. Now the things I like about the, the thing I like about the 180 stove is that you can use multiple fuels with it. Um, so you can use just regular sticks and twigs. You can use an Esbit tablet, you can use an alcohol stove underneath, anything like that will work and uh, works really well. So. And these are the stoves that we all carry in our bags. So uh, when we go over mountain passes or anything like that, we carry these with us. And then all you have to do is take the stove Put it right over the top on the ash pan, and there you go. I'm just gonna get our water started boiling here. I'll be gonna put that on there. As you can see, and the nice thing about the stove is it's very, very vented. It's a little windy here today, but uh, we've got plenty of oxygen for the fire. Alright guys, so here is the 180 stove we were taking a look at outside just a minute ago. The stove comes in these nice packages that make it easy to store away. Uh, I just went ahead and, and uh, scrubbed the soot off of these uh, so that we can go through them. And as you'll tell in the videos, these are have been used quite a bit. Um, so we'll show you the, the wear and tear on that, which is actually pretty minimal. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, get this out here. First I'm going to show you the snow and ash pan. The snow and ash pan has been used quite a bit and you will see some warping on this here if you look at it closely. And that is from using it in the, uh, it cools down really quick when you're using it in the snow. And that uh, is where that band came from. So that was totally mean. I wouldn't say that's anything on the, uh, the stove itself. So that's the ash pan that you can put down. And then you've got the actual stove itself here. One of these so it comes with the rubber bands you see to kind of help hold everything together and then goes into five pieces, six pieces, excuse me. All right, so to assemble the one of these stove is pretty simple. You take your side panel and your back panel and you run the back panel in here. Take your other side panel and connect it like such. And you've got the basic frame for the 180 stove. And then your cross pieces just come right across the top and sit in those little grooves right there. And then once you get the cross pieces in, this is very, very sturdy. Uh, like I said, I've put a full size pot on here before with water. 
So you're looking at at least eight pounds, if not more. Sorry, this is a little hard to assemble on camera here. But you've got your stove fully assembled there. And some quick, let's go through some quick facts about the stove here really quick. The stove is seven inches long by six inches wide. And it's uh, three and a quarter inches high. It weighs 10.4 ounces and is made from 304 stainless steel. And like I said, it does come with this tough 5 mil plastic bag. And I really like these to put these in. If the stove is dirty, you can just slide it into the plastic and then not worry about getting your backpack or pack dirty. And uh, the other thing I like about these is these are made in the USA. I believe they're actually made in Colorado as well. They have a couple different models. This is the larger model of the stove. They do have a, one that's a 180 flame, I believe, which is a more V style, smaller, lighter for backpacking. Uh, now, personally, for our, our uses, I really like the larger stove because you could cook, you know, use a pan and cook, you know, your food, boil water, anything like that you need to over it. And uh, I do like the snow and ash pan because it makes the cleanup for this really easy. Your snow and ash pan just sits right underneath the stove like this. And then I've got some footage of us using this in the winter as well. The, the nice thing about that is if you pack the actual snow down where you're going to set your stove on, and you set this, the ash pan down first, set your stove on here and build your fire on the ash pan, the stove doesn't tend to lean or tilt. Sometimes if you don't get things packed down evenly, uh, you know, your, your stove and everything can tilt and your pan can fall off. With uh, the heat being evenly distributed on this ash pan, it does tend to, to sink down slowly and uh, really not tip over at all. So I like that. And I like the fact that this you can use natural materials. I, I mean, you can use Esbit tablets. You can use an alcohol insert underneath here. Uh, you can use just regular sticks like we, we do normally. And it really only takes a few sticks to, to feed into here. You've got a lot of uh, airflow through the, the cutouts on the side and back and the front. And it's really easy to go ahead and feed your sticks in from the side here to keep your fire going. So. In our book, the 180 stove is a A+, plus, and we really like it. And uh, hopefully I'll get my hands on the uh, the 180 flame sometime here to test that out as well. I'd really like to see what the smaller lightweight one is, maybe for a kid's bag or something like that. But for my uses, when I carry the, you know, the 10 or 12 ounces with the ash pan, is uh, very easy to manage, and uh, I really like it a lot. And as you can see, it holds up really well. I've used this quite a few times. You just get a little bit of... Um, it's not really tarnished, but you're going to get a little bit of the this metal turning once you've used it quite a bit. But all in all, like I said, it's held up really well over the years, and uh, we really like it. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos like this coming up in the future. And follow us on all our social media accounts. We do try to post daily deals and other things like that that we find to help you guys prepare for your prepare with your family. And don't forget to ask yourself, what have you done to secure your dynasty today? Thanks, guys.